Hi, this is Tracy Kopp with Georgia Highlands College, and today's video is on properties of logarithms. This is from Unit 4 of College Algebra, and we're also going to look at expanding and condensing logarithms. The first thing we have to look at is the properties of logarithms. The properties of logarithms, just like the graphs, link very closely to the rules for exponents. So let's look at the first rule. We have x to the fifth times x to the third. What is the rule when we are multiplying like bases? Well, we simply add the exponents. So that would be 5 plus 3, or x to the eighth. Well, the same thing is true for logarithms. When we are multiplying, two values, we can separate them to simplify by changing it to addition. Okay, when we were dividing exponents, we subtracted the exponents, as long as the bases were the same. When we are dividing with a logarithm, we change it to subtraction. And when we're raising a power to a power, we multiplied. 5 times 3, or x to the 15th. And here, if I had log base a of x to the third power, this 3 would come out front to be multiplied times our logarithm. Now these logarithm properties are true no matter what the base is, including natural logs. It also applies if I'm multiplying, I can change them to addition. If it is division, I expand it by subtracting. And if we're raising a power to we're raising it to a power, we multiply it. So let's look at some examples. We're going to use the properties of logarithms to expand each of the following expressions. So on this first one, first thing I'm going to do is take this 2 and multiply it out front. Since it goes with both of the terms, I'm going to put it in parentheses. so that the 2 goes with both the a and b. Now the a and b are being multiplied, so I'm going to change them to addition. So log base 3 of a plus log base 3 of b. We can also distribute this 2 to both terms and write it as log base 3 of a plus log base 3 of b. For the next one, we have to remember some properties of exponents. We have to remember that taking the cube root of an expression is the exact same thing as raising it to the one-third power. So just like before, I'm going to bring the one-third out front, and it goes with each term, so I'm going to put this in parentheses. x, y, and z are each being multiplied, so I'm going to change that to addition. So one-third log x plus log y plus log z. And just as before, we can put the one-third with each of the terms and have one-third log of x plus one-third log y plus one-third 
log z. Okay, and now let's look at this last one. The first thing I'm going to do is see that these two values, x cubed and the square root of z divided by y cubed, are being multiplied. So I'm going to write ln x cubed plus ln the square root of z over y cubed. Next, I'm going to bring the 3 out front, and I'm also going to write each of these to the 1 half. So 3 ln x plus ln z to the 1 half over y to the 3 halves. The reason it's to the 3 halves is because it was to the 3rd power. And 3 times 1 half gives me 3 halves. Now we're going to rewrite it. 3 ln x plus ln z to the 1 half minus ln y to the 3 halves, which gives me 3 ln x plus 1 half ln z minus 3 halves ln y. Alright, let's look at some more examples. In this next example, we are asked to condense each of them to a single logarithm. The first thing I'm going to do is take care of the one-half, one-third, and one-fourth. I'm going to move them from the front of the expression to the exponent. So I've got log base 3 of 64 to the one-half, log base 3 of 125 to the one-third, minus log base 3 of 16 to the 1 fourth. Now, if you'll remember, 64 to the 1 half is the same as saying the square root of 64. The square root of 64 is 8. 125 to the 1 third is the same as asking for the q root of 125 which is 5. And on the last one, 16 to the 1 fourth is asking for the fourth root of 16, which is 2. Next, I'm going to change these first two that are being combined with addition to multiplication. This would give us log base 3 of 8 times 5, or 40. Now, I'm going to combine the log base 3 of 40 minus log base 3 of 2 to get log base 3 of 40 divided by 2, which simplifies to log base 3 of 20. Now, we took that long original expression and condensed it to a small expression that can be evaluated. Let's condense this one. On this one, the first term that I see is the 17, so I'm going to move it to the exponent. So I've got log base b of m to the 17th plus log base b of 2 minus log base b of x. Next, I'm going to combine these two terms that are being added and change them to multiply. Log base b of 2 times m to the 17th minus log base b of x. And then the last step is to change the subtraction 
to division. Log base b of 2m to the 17th over x. And that is our single logarithm. And for our last one, I'm going to take care of the 3 and move it here to the exponent. And I'm also going to take care of my parentheses as well. This is going to give us log base b of x cubed minus. And in the parentheses, it's being added. So we change it to multiplication. Now the subtraction sign tells us to change it to division. So log base b of x cubed over 4x. I can reduce these two x's and this is going to give us log base b of x squared over 4 for our answer. And now we've condensed it to a single logarithm.